है वो हमारे लव स्टोरी में इसलिए रखा है कि पिक्चर की बेसिक पॉइंट है एक लव से शुरू है देन टू पीपल वर इन लव और सम थर्ड एंगल के मैन ऑल दैट लेकिन उसके अंदर से जो भी निकला है उस दिन से लेके जो भी इंसिडेंट है जो भी घटना हुई है वो दैट इज सच ए हॉरेंडस कम्यूनल थिंग सो इन स्पाइट ऑफ इट स्टार्टिंग लाइक अ लव स्टोरी इट इज नॉट अ लव स्टोरी It's about the emotional states of people who did such a shocking thing. The idea is not to detach ourselves, but to imagine ourselves in their place. That's the whole point of uh, not a love story. Because of the case and all that, the uh, element of the investigation obviously will be there. I mean, I can't avoid that. But uh, a film eventually is an emotional experience, you know. the investigation or anything everybody knows because it is widely reported in the media so nothing new there but uh, for me like i said the emotional states is the most important thing so which obviously means a love story so the, the, the fact that there were two men and a woman which means obviously is an emotion of love somewhere but how that went horribly wrong in what circumstances and because of due to what is actually the focus of this film it's not so much to say how the case was detected is not really the point My attempt is to for anyone to sit in the theater if they feel at the end of it that probably if I was in her state, I was in their state, maybe I could have done it. That doesn't mean it is justified, but but there is something called a premeditated crime. There is something called which happens on impulse, something which happens on rage, something which happens on helplessness. You know, there there are various things. So whether they did it on intention or not, or the various viewpoints is what I am trying to bring to light. The couch, the couch is basically related to the so-called casting couch, which is a predominant factor where an angle like that happened to be there, like reported in the media between Neeraj Grover and uh, and the girl. The story is of a girl who wants to be an actress, who wants to be famous as an actress, and she became famous as a murderess, which is irony. So if things went well, it could have been a Rangila. But things didn't go, and that one moment completely screwed up everything, and it became a dark murder story. So I thought to play Rangila in a very emotional, sad, and dark, and uh, scary version in the context of a similar girl who wanted to be a star, but the opposite of what happened to Urmila and Rangila, a uh, irony of it, which is what I wanted to capture in the track. I never said I was making the picture. I just said. Now we should make a film with Rekha Ji with Buddhi Hoge Teri Maan. The point of avoiding something which is a part of our life, you know, this incident which happened in a place where you and me live, in a city, in an apartment building where hundreds of people like us live and going about doing our daily chores, and the fact that something like this can happen just about a wall away, maybe in your, maybe in your neighbor's flat, and uh, it, it just suddenly brings to light. the kind of a demons who can be in between us i feel it's very important we understand what goes behind the scenes in such a terrible incident so that we can probably do something to prevent it to happen i don't run the judiciary obviously like if you know anything about films any kind of a look or anything for the run up to that is going to be planned nearly a month in advance to get all the material ready and everything so the, to my knowledge probably the judgment day was could have been decided maybe 2 3 days and it's not like today it can happen no one can predict that 